Hello and welcome to a new Blender 2.8 video, in which I want to show you texture painting and animation with EV real-time rendering. I start by adding a default cube, for that I check to generate the UVs. Then I go to edit mode, select the cube and add a small bevel by pressing Ctrl and B. After that I press the F3 key and find the smooth shading. Ok, then I save this, don't forget to save often and then I go to the Texture Paint workspace. In the Properties panel on the right side I add a new Texture Paint slot with a size of 2K and a black color. In the window on the left side I enable the Shader Editor now, in which you can see the Cube Base Color node that is added for the paint slot. Ok, now I add another paint slot with the same parameters as the first one. Again I choose 2K and the color I set to black. And now we have two image texture nodes that I connect using a mix RGB node. I just put this between the existing connection and I change the value from Mix to Add and after that I connect the second node. When I paint now with the second slot selected onto the model with a color like green, the color is added, it looks like this, but I press Ctrl Z to undo this for now because what I want to do is to paint with color and height at the same time. So I add a new bump node to the shader editor and connect this to the normal input of the principal shader and I use the output of the add node as input for the bump node. And look at this what happens now when I paint with the second texture slot selected onto the cube. You can create a really interesting effect you are painting with the selected color and use the value of this as height information as well. I also increase the specular value of the shader and reduce the roughness a bit and if you like you can invert the bump node which also looks really cool. Alright, what I also want to show you is to animate the material. You can show or hide the kind of holes you painted by using the factor value of the add node. Just use the slider to change the value which is between 0 and 1 to show or hide the colored holes. But of course this value can be animated as well. What I do now is to set it to 0, open a timeline window and then I hover with the cursor over the factor field and press the I key to add a keyframe. Then I go to a frame like 160, set the factor to 1 and press again the I key to create an animation for this property. After that I turn it into an animation that can be looped. To do this I select the last keyframe and move it to the left. And then I select the first keyframe, press Ctrl and C to copy it, move to a frame like 120 and press Ctrl and P. Ok, and now we have a cyclic looping animation. I set this frame here to the end frame. And then I press the play button to start it and you can see the animation in real time in the viewport. It also looks great when you have post processing effects like Bloom enabled.
Alright guys, I hope you find videos like this interesting and useful and if you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me, consider being my patron. If you have any questions or ideas, add these to the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.